Welcome back to our month-to-month -month gardening checklist. It's April and there's a lot of work to do in the garden. Come on, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Make sure that your irrigation is all set up in the greenhouse before you either move your starts out here or start them in the greenhouse. And if you haven't already done it, make sure and clean out your greenhouse. We're gonna get ready to start our seeds. Make sure you have a good supply of Agrabon or frost blankets on hand for those late frosts that usually come in April. And April is probably the last opportunity that you'll have to start some of your hot season vegetables like eggplants, tomatoes, and peppers. Be sure and watch all of our starting seeds videos at groworganic.com. April's a month to make sure that you take really good care of your seedling trays and your starts. It's a great opportunity to do the last little bit of thinning before transplanting. As soon as your seed starts have their first real leaves, you can add fertilizer. I like the liquid kelp. Start a batch of the omega-3 chicken forage blend. Your chickens will love it and your eggs will be full of omega-3s. Continue to direct seed your cold weather crops such as turnips, beets, radishes and carrots as well as the brassicas and cold crops. Be sure and take care of your grapes, berries, and vines. This is the time of year where they're really going to start pushing out some growth. Be sure and check out all of our videos on caring for and pruning all of your berries and vines. When t-shirt weather gets here, you can be sure that your compost pile is starting to heat up. This is a time to give it a great boost with the organic compost maker. If you don't already have a pile, check out our Organic Composting 101 video. I always braid my daffodil leaves in April after the flowers are spent. All of the food is stored in the leaves for the next growing season, so you don't want to cut them back. Braiding them makes them look pretty. April is also a great time to plant native plants. I'm planting a toyon down here by the creek. April's a good time because we should get some more rains. Be sure and clean up beneath your camellia bushes to prevent blight, which is caused by a fungus. It seems like in April my clematis grows a foot a day. It's important to keep on top of trellising any of your vines and climbers to make sure that they don't go crazy. April is a super time to plant your tubers. If you haven't planted potatoes before, be sure and check out our video, How to Plant Potatoes. If you have one enemy in April, it's the weeds. And we're going to go ahead and weed around all of our fruit trees. I have the weed mat down, but of course the weeds are pretty strong and they sometimes grow right through it. So we're going to take the weeds out, we're going to flip the mat, we're going to fertilize, we're going to put the mat back down, and we're going to move on to the next tree. For more tips and tricks on organic weed control, please check out our video, How to Control Weeds Organically. I'm getting this area ready to plant some wildflowers. I'm gonna plant native wildflowers and April is a great month to do that. Please check out our video on how to plant wildflowers and enjoy the beautiful blooms this summer. I have a mix of perennials and annuals. That's what I chose for my area. We've had an awful lot of rain this spring and when it rains on blossoms, that's a real issue for a lot of trees. It's a perfect opportunity for funguses and other diseases to enter into your fruit trees. April is a great month for you to do your research on products such as Liquicop or Serenade. These products can control funguses and other diseases. Don't want worms in your apples this summer? Right now in April, time to hang out the coddling moth lures. And most importantly, don't forget to enjoy your garden in April and all the wonders of spring. Tune in next month to What to Do in May and Grow Organic for Life.